So I got an extra 2.2 transmission, subframe, axle, everything I need to put this in the rear end of the other Cavalier. So we're going to see what we can make happen with it. I'm going to drop this out and then once we get this out, I'm going to look in the, this is just like a, a junk car. Somebody wrecked it. It got towed away. I'm going to cut up the back end of it and see about how it's going to end up on my car. And then once we get a good idea of what's going to happen, we're going to end up throwing this in the back of my car. It's going to be a twin engine. Both are going to be turboed, all wheel drive, Cavalier. Somebody's getting it. So let's get started pulling this. I'm excited. Can't wait. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of fabbing, but not too difficult. That's your favorite thing, though. I know. I love doing that stuff. That's why you like building speaker boxes. It's all fab. <laughs> As far as taking this out, we're just going to drop everything out the bottom. And if y'all notice, I've upgraded a little bit. I guess I can go ahead and get these motor mounts on. You know yeah, what? I can go ahead and get that top one. That's a different motor mount than I have. save some stuff if you don't know what all we're going to need now. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to need the harness. I'm thinking save the harness. It looks like we can almost drop it. Though. Holds this engine at all. It I don't think the motor's gonna fall through the cradle. Either. No, it's got a it's got a cross brace that runs under it. Alright, well I'm taking out this last bolt. There goes the motor. Motor's loose. Drop the subframe and it's out. Well, cut that hose. I gotta have all new hoses anyway, so. You can run it straight through the ceiling, but man, you gotta wait. Just let it down. It really does go up faster. I don't know if it's hitting the 
You're there. Is the front sitting on? Front ain't but the back. Well, the front might be. Is the front? No. It's all right. When we start lifting up, it's gonna pull out. Yeah. Uh, It ran good, we only ran it for like a few seconds, so... Yeah, the motor fell a lot. The motor's sitting on the jack stand now. Okay... Yeah, this side's gonna be a little bit weird because of this one's holding it in. Just bouncing. Go up a little bit more. A little more. You know, if this car wasn't wrecked, we'd already have it out. Yeah. Just kind of got that in mind. The subframe down there, if you want to get a video of it, the subframe down there where it bolts in, see the metal, how it's like kind of folded over? The metal is folded over the bolt. That's nice. Right here. And the bolt that we actually need to get to is right underneath this piece of metal. I might, I probably did something with it. Probably. I cut the, the brake line, that's the last thing we cut. No, the exhaust. Oh yeah. I did have it tied right there. And if you don't care, get a half while you do that, I'll get a half. I'll take that brown wire look. I think we're gonna have to cut that off and cut off one off of another frame, but we might have to. We might have to use a whole nother cradle, but at least we had the motor and trans out. This is the brake line. Yeah. Let me bump her up and I'll see what all we're catching on. We got a couple things right here in the front that might catch a little bit. Well, that's just plastic, isn't it? Hold on no, that's metal. Hold on just a second. Get you a prop on. Oh, that might, yeah. Watch out. I think we're at a point now that it's not even worth saving the work.
evap line. We don't need that. I mean, yeah, yeah, we need that to that job. We're not in the I'm in a tractor. You tell Mary to pick it up and pull it out? You want to get the car out and set it back inside? Yeah. That's a whole motor and transmission. And suspension. Yeah. So we got the motor out. I have to do a little bit of a fixing because this car was wrecked. The subframe is was bent up a little bit. I had to actually cut the bolt off right here since the metal was folded over the edge of the bolt, the head of the bolt. So I have to cut all this out, find a new something to put back in its place, and we'll just weld it back in. Gotta get the rack off. And that's really about it. Have to get her ready to throw in the other car. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the the subframe that's right here. I'm gonna get it mounted up in the car without the engine in. That way I know exactly where everything needs to be. If I could cut everything out, mount the engine to the subframe again where it's supposed to be, lift it up about where it's supposed to be, and then I just know I know where to make my mounts. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. But it's out. All we have to do now is get him out of the other car. Start cutting stuff up. Yeah. Fun stuff. I think it was crazy.